Okay, this is the first video of the platformer level gravity Mario type game, whatever you want to call it. To get started, you'll go to Mr. Poi's assignments folder and you want to open up this text file called code where I wrote the code that you'll need. I'll try to put the code in the description as well so it's on YouTube uh, as well. This is the code that we're going to need and I'll just open that up. Okay, starting from the very beginning. I'm going to need two sprites. The first sprite I'm going to need is going to be a uh, Mario. So I'm going to create a sprite and I'll call it Mario or player or person. And I'm just going to go edit sprite. And for this one here, um, I want a canvas uh, that is 16 by 16 because the sprites that I'm eventually going to put in here are 16 by 16. But for now, I'll use a green block to be, oh no, Mario's red. I think Mario should be red. So I'll make a red block for Mario. Okay, so there's my sprite Mario. It doesn't really look like Mario, but uh, unfortunately, that's uh, what it's going to be. It's obviously not going to be transparent. I don't need any precision collision checking, nor do I need to preload the texture. So I want it just as basic as can be, um, a red block. Okay, I'll do the same for the wall because Mario needs something to stand on or to jump on. And I'll call this a wall. I've got a ton of wall sprites, but to be quick for this, I'm just going to edit this and I want the wall uh, again to be the same size, 16 by 16. So I'm just going to tell the width and height of the size to be 16 by 16. And I might make it uh, black or gray. Walls are usually kind of that color. I'll make it a gray and that's okay. Oops, not transparent. The wall, you want to see it. Um, precision clip. Checking is off and preloading the texture is off. So I've got a red sprite and a uh, gray sprite. I'll make those into objects. So I've got object Mario with the Mario sprite. And I will make another object called object wall, which I will use the wall sprite. Okay, we're just about done, believe it or not. Um, I'm going to make my room. I'll leave the room set up as 16 by 16. So let me start by putting some walls all around. I'm just going to put a wall here. Um, I might put some things to jump on. Maybe I'll put a little... Uh, solid base here and and then maybe I'll make something he can climb with a bit of skill and I'll finish the room up like so okay I need to put Mario in the room I'll stick Mario right there and now the last thing I need to do is actually put some events uh, and some code in here for Mario. So, how's Mario going to move left or right? Normally, we would add events for keyboards or key press or things like that. For this one, we're going to use coding. And because we're going to use coding, all we need to do is, as the program is stepping through it, so the step event, we're going to execute some codes. So in the step event, I'm going to go to the actions and in the action, I'm going to go to the control tab and put the code I want to put in. So normally we use, we drop, drag and drop. In this case, we're going to put the code in and I want to select all the code. Um, I don't want to do the collision with the wall code, but I want to do all the code from if I check the keyboard is left, right, up or down. So this is uh, the keyboard uh, move. So in the step event of the player, I put this 
slash slash means it's a comment. So in the step event to the player, I'm going to put this code. So I'll just copy that and I'll paste the code in like so. And so you can see the code here. Uh, and what it does, a quick explanation, an if statement is a decision. We've used those before. Um, and basically it's saying if there's, if it's free, we've got gravity. So if there's nothing in near Mario, make him fall down. But if Mario's touching something, then uh, of course we've got some gravity uh, is zero. We're touching something, we don't wanna move down. The direction is 270 and that means the direction is going down. The other thing, I, there's another if statement, V speed, uh, and you may recall we've used it before, I believe, is the vertical speed. If it's bigger than 10, we make it max out at 10. So when he's falling, gravity will make him go faster and faster and faster up to a maximum of 10. And we might want to change and play with that value, the maximum, um, later on in the game uh, when we do things. A couple more if statements, and they're all similar, so I won't really go. If you press the right key, and it's free x plus four, which means four pixels to the right of Mario, then we'll move Mario x plus four. So we're gonna move Mario four pixels to the right. If you press the keyboard left key, then and to the left of Mario is free, we're gonna move x minus uh, four, which would be four to the left. Uh, if you press the space bar um, or the up key, uh, we're gonna make the vertical speed negative seven, and again, we can uh, uh, play with that. So that's the opposite direction of gravity, that'd be jumping. Uh, and that pretty well covers all of the movement code for Mario. Okay, I'll hit a check mark there. The last event I need to do, and then I'm ready to play the game, is a collision with a wall. So if Mario hits a wall here, what I'm going to do is I'll put the second uh, part of the code in here. And basically what this is, is it says if I hit the wall, then I move and touch, I move contact uh, with gravity going down uh, 270, direction 270, um, and the speed is gonna be zero. So I'm stopping uh, Mario. I wanna stop his vertical movement. So I'm gonna take the code here and same thing, collision with the wall, put some code in, and that should be good. Okay, I think that's uh, good to go. I'm gonna press okay and I'm gonna hit play uh, and just test my game, make sure I didn't make any mistakes, but that's the beginning of Mario. And we now have a level game where we can have multiple rooms, we can have uh, all sorts of different things. Oh, whoops. Uh, one other thing I need to do, the wall needs to be solid. Uh, so we need to make sure that that works there. Great. Um, so that should cover the video and we have, uh, uh, Mario should be able to walk around and jump. And then I can add sound effects, different rooms. It looks pretty basic now, but the whole idea is I've got gravity. I've got a game that works well, plays well with gravity. Obviously, um, uh, we can do lots more. 